Nathan, your thoughts on this fourth round defeat at uh, Stamford Bridge, Chelsea uh, against Premier League opposition? Look, overall, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the group and, and how we went about our work and, and it shows that we're in a decent place. Look, we started not great. That was a lot to do with, with tactically, so I take you know, blame for that in terms of I wanted us to be bold, I want us to be a front foot, but when we won the ball back, I want us to have solutions so that we could we could play. Um, it didn't we didn't we didn't quite implement that well and that's so we had to change. And when we changed we looked far more comfortable and, and that was it. And we got ourselves back in the game which was quality right for half time we had another chance. We've had a chance on sixty minutes. And look we've we've competed here today. It's been a, a real long tough week. As we said previous interviews to go away to Bournemouth, three away games in on tro Bournemouth, uh, Brentford and then Chelsea. They don't come out harder than that as a championship team. And we've we've shown and we've grown this week as a team, we've grown as a club. Um, it's, it's, it's a tough defeat to take, but let's, be, let's remember who we're playing against. We're playing against a, a top four Champions League side um, and we've come a long way, so I'm very proud and pleased with that. Was there a little bit of fortune for Chelsea over their opening goal? A lot of talk about the, the multi-ball and the second ball still being on the pitch and the throwing not from the right place. But look, with, with the times we're in and with the clarity and the rules and the way the rules change now, I, I, like it, it, it's, it's mental. You know, The fourth official said there's no multi-ball. Referee said there is. There's a ball on the pitch which in 29 years of being a professional footballer, in another eight or nine in being a manager coach, any time a ball's on the pitch, it's stopped because there's two balls on the pitch. But suddenly it's, it's acceptable now. I, I didn't know that. So maybe that's my naivety or maybe that's my... But, but I didn't know that. And two of our players stopped. So we were on the phone. Then they throw, they score. And then that gives them a real settled down feeling, you know. Uh, the disappointing thing for me is when I tried to speak to the referee about it, he goes all robotic and, and shows me the, mo the biggest disrespect I could ever, I could ever show. And, and that saddens me and, 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 and uh, because I show them the utmost respect in how I act. I mean, frustration like that that it happens so early in the game as well because it's always a tough challenge, oh. even tougher when they, they've got the lead, isn't it? It is, but, but sometimes, you know, we, we test ourselves. Today's not, you know, realistically, we show this, this competition the utmost respect, but realistically, the more games we are playing, we have games called off, it, it hinders what we want to do in the league. Now, we have to make sure that we... Uh, Sta not stabilise, that's the wrong, because I think we stabilised last year. What we have to do is that we are bold and we, we climb the league and want to finish as high as possible. So the more games we have now, look, that will hinder us. So we've had a lovely, lovely time in it. We've had a lovely game here, really have. Now we have to concentrate on the bread and butter, which is our, um, our league form, our league position, our league points. And we're in a good place there. And it shows by today, by coming, that, that we tactically can take take teams on. Technically we have some wonderful players that can that can take us forward but it's a learning curve as well because there are elements that we could have done better today and if we do that then look we'll be in a good position in the league. Some good positives to take out obviously the performance, a goal for Jordan Clark against Premier League opposition, a, a great save denied Harry Cornick on the hour and then Simon Sluger wonderful for him personally as well um, to, to make the penalty save. Yeah, yeah, look, there's so many positives to come out of it and we have to realise who we're playing against and yeah, we want to be gung-ho but, but gone are the days now with the FA Cup where, you know, it would have been far easier if we played them at Kenilworth, but gone are the days now where it's snowing and pitches are ridiculous and, you, you know, you're having to fight and, 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 and upset. These, these, these are world, world-class players we're coming up against, you know, they've, they've spent 200 million in the, in the, in, in, in the window, they've got, it must have been another 300 million in the, in the in this thing so we have to realize we're coming up against world-class players and and we've come from league two so for us to be competing is great and for us to be going up against it, and for us with then evaluating ourselves against these shows that we're in a wonderful place and that's why I think we have to remember and I'm not happy that we've lost a game because I would have loved to have scored taking it to defend it a little bit better to, to stop counter-attack so they couldn't be free-flowing in for the third goal so those are the the learning curves but we have to realize that 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 we're at our, you know, at our, at our limit when we play these, and and, and credit to Chelsea because they're a good side.